Hello everyone, welcome back to Writing This Short on Wednesday. And today we are focusing on writing character death sparringly because you don't always want to do it for shock value. You can, I feel like you get like three passes of shock value death and then the rest of them you gotta have substance for like, you're not gonna have substance. The fuck are you killing them off for? And listen, I'm a person, I love killing off my characters, okay? But I always gotta make sure there's a reason, okay? <laughs> I can't just kill kill characters off just because just I can. But we're gonna focus on immediate and then like big picture effects of a character death that i feel you should consider when you know writing it and stuff so like comment subscribe help your girl out let's talk about the immediate effects so we're gonna use a current scenario i have in my stories i'm just not gonna reveal the names <laughs> so um we have character a and b B is the youngest sibling of character A. We are also in a apocalyptic world. Feel me, I'm storytelling right now, okay? Uh, as we're in an apocalyptic world, they're currently at a camp with the rest of their friends. There's more, but some of them don't matter. We're only talking about two of them right now. Uh, character C and D are also brother and sister, but closer in age. They're like 17, 18. And then the little brother, he's like 11 of character A. And then, so character C and D their siblings and character D who's the younger brother of character C <laughs> is uh, like a ride or die for that for her and character C and A are also best friends so one day character A goes on a supply run and tells her younger brother character B hey stay in camp don't go anywhere until I get back and he's like okay <laughs> so Character A goes on the supply run, and character C and D, who are close with the young the younger brother of character A, they're like, hey, let's go have some fun. Let a bunch of sister said. Not fun as like in a weird way, just like, hey, let's just get out of here because this world kind of sucks right now. So they go to a river, start throwing rocks and shit, and they just watch and like let let character B have some fun because he's a kid in an apocalyptic world. Now he can't do shit, okay? Suddenly, character B is shot in the stomach. I know. <laughs> character C and D are like, oh, shit. And then they bring character B back to camp. Everyone's like, what the hell happened? Character A comes back, older sister of character B. And she's like, what the fuck did you do? I told you to stay here. What, where, where did he go? <laughs> so, uh, some more shit happens. Character B dies. Okay? All right. Immediate effect. Things we should consider. Why was he killed? Who was he killed by? And the importance of who he was killed by. Why was he killed? You could say an ambush. We could just say, hey, during an apocalyptic world, people are just trying to, you know, scare tactics. They're trying to get rid of people. They're trying to get all resources, okay? We, we could say that reason. But, nope, before the but, uh, we could say that. <laughs> and then the importance of who they were killed by also, you know, matters. Because is it a group? Is it a vendetta? Is it a random? Is it whatever? You should consider that. And then the immediate response. How is this How is this death making everyone? Obviously, everyone's losing their fucking shit. Because one, kid just died. Two, who's watching us? Are we about to get ambushed? What's going on? We need to go or we need to fight back. Now, big picture. How does this death trickle down throughout the story? So, as we already know, character A and character C are best friends, but character C and D are responsible for character B's death in a way. No, though they did not know, but they knew, character A told character B, stay here until I get back, and they took him from that spot. Though it was in good fun, character A is not having it. So, character A and C their relationship is now going to trickle down. Character A may start acting more hostile, may 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 be aggressive, may, you know, isolate towards them or not care for their well-being anymore because they're like, yo, you just got my little brother killed when I told him one thing, stay here, and you took that from me. So now she's pissed, and that's the last family she has left in that world. So... How does it affect the relationships? How does it affect the world? As the death 
it can it can spiral. <laughs> it can affect a whole group. It can affect the whole environment. It can affect the way people act, the way people look. It, it, it can affect a lot. A death should affect the people around it. That that's that's the main point. It should affect the people. It can affect the environment. It, it should it should affect. It should trickle. It should drive people in some way, shape, or form. And even if the death does not affect that heavily, explain why. So say they're in, like they're in a populated world and they're used to death. They're kind of just like what it, it is. What it is. But at the same time, everyone's different when it comes towards the death and the relations of that person who died of who they had with other people. It, it, it matters. You should always, always think about the connections that character had if you're about to kill them off. Because in some way, shape, or form, that character's going to be affected. Even if that character learns later, they're like, oh shit, they're dead? What the fuck? <laughs> it, it should affect. You should also think about, um, you. so this character's dead now, right? Where are you going after this? What did they die for? What was the cause? What was the reason? What did they die for? Is it just to break up a relationship? Is it to drive everyone insane? Is it to show people's real colors? What are the reasons for that character death? Do not just kill a character just because you can. There should be a bigger picture. <laughs> it's all about the big picture at the end of the day. Because there are immediate effects of like everyone's an, an immediate reaction. How people react how people feel, how they died, who they were killed by, what they were killed by, whatever the factors are that contribute to their death, and then there's the big picture after. It's just big. <laughs> that you always want the death to, I think, contribute to the big picture in some way, shape, or form. Even if it's just a tiny, tiny, little, minor part, you should, it, you, it should be considered. <laughs> Because you don't want a death to go in vain. You don't want to waste death, okay? Because if you if you have... This is just me using that scenario. There's so much more complexity to it, but I can't explain it right now. But if you have a more complex story, go deeper. Like I said in my last video, I think... I, I remember what it was. I think it was like organizing character motives and shit, or just like backstories. A character's backstory can, you know, also relate to how they react to death or how they died it, 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 it can it can go big and you can keep going deeper and deeper and make the death more meaningful make give substance to death don't just kill people off okay they do that on tv and everyone gets mad I'm like you killed this character off for what just because it's for shock value i know you need the views but still you know <laughs> you don't just want to kill a character off because you can you can uh consider the character's background where they grew up how they grew up who they are part of if that character killed the another character how this character would react to death how this character would react to killing someone how this character would just react to a scenario in general it all it all it all connects <laughs> so short story short Consider immediate effect, big picture effect, when a death. And you can go more in depth with each of those things of the immediate and the big picture. It should always go back to the big picture, but you should also consider the immediate. Even if characters don't have time to react yet, there should be a moment where they react. Even if it's just for a split second, but don't make them forget about that death. Because, especially if it was like a major character... That character was there. They're not just going to forget about it. And that character death, I feel, should have an effect, should have a cause, should lead to something or cause something. Just like with character A, D, or is it C? I don't remember anymore. Their friendship is now splitting. And character C and D are now getting alienated for the rest of the group because you guys just got a, kill a kid killed. Regardless if you did it on purpose or not, everyone's going to feel some type of way because it's just like, yo this like really happened like what <laughs> and like so it's just it's a big picture because it trickles down to other characters other characters may react differently to other characters uh the world may react differently uh groups may react differently you may have a rise of a new villain a new hero a new character or a new minor major whatever you can use death to introduce you can use death to, to obviously take away but use death with com not with complexity but with substance don't just kill people okay <laughs> don't kill off characters don't just do this because 
may show the substance to it there's immediate and how it relates to the big picture i know i kind of rambled this video's a little unorganized but yeah um Bonchu is here Bonchu is there Bonchu is everywhere i hope you enjoyed the video this was friday nation on a little wednesday and i will see you sometime soon